The popular test that everybody's familiar with, injector leak off testing. We're gonna show you how to do that quickly here today. We just need to remove these five clips. And these clips aren't too bad. They aren't highly spring loaded, so they're not gonna go airborne. Of course, you don't wanna drop them down in the engine. Set them off to the side where it's safe and then wiggle these out. Wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Now, we don't want fuel squirting out of all these little nipples here. So we're going to clamp that off. And now we can attach the 3 8 inch hose on top of here. Uh, the common 3 8 inch inside diameter clear, I think it's vinyl tubing fits. But we've got the little vials that are made for it, so we're going to use these. Miller, 9545, made in Germany. Miller Specialty Tools. You'll find I have a, eh, a modest collection of those. A little more than your average shade tree mechanic, if you will. Cam sensor is unplugged, so the engine won't start. Ideally, we'd be doing this test when the engine is warm, but if the engine won't start, eh, it's kind of hard to warm it up, isn't it? Ideally, we want to get a little bit of fuel in every vial, but more importantly than how much is that it's equal across all four, all five cylinders. If one of them is, ex is excessively spitting out fuel compared to the other four, we know that one has uh, got a high return value and going to fail injector testing. So let's crank it up and see what we get. Might not have been 10 seconds, but I can see right away what we're getting here, which is nothing. Wow, that's a whole lot of nothing indeed. That's a whole lot of nothing indeed. So, we don't have a pressure loss at the fuel rail that we can measure, and we don't have any pressure loss on the injectors that we can measure. That tells me we're probably not getting pressure. We continue to look for why this engine won't start.